Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. You may not know, but currently airlines are avoiding a certain airspace. That's the Iran airspace. The decision from multiple airlines to reroute their flights to essentially avoid Iran comes after escalating tensions, which were spurred on from strikes on oil tankers. In addition, Iran shot down a high-altitude US drone with one of their surface-to-air missiles. This action immediately became a threat to all commercial airplanes over fear that it could happen to an aircraft with hundreds on board. Iran is a very popular location to fly over when airlines are on their way to Asia and or Europe. I've flown over it in 2016 with Qantas. US regulators are the ones who have barred all its carriers from flying over the area until further notice is given. The precautionary measure, though, was an emergency order. That order came from an investigation by the FAA, who, thanks to various flight tracking applications, came to the conclusion that a civil aircraft was only 45 nautical miles away from the drone that was indeed shot down. Immediately, we know that it's too close for comfort and a huge risk. The FAA specifically said, there were numerous civil aviation aircraft operating in the area at the time of the intercept. However, the overall concern and precautionary measures being put in place no doubt also come from the unfortunate events of MH17, taken down by a missile over Ukraine all the way back in July of 2014. In fact, we're actually approaching it being five years since this occurred. In these five years, airlines around the globe have adjusted how they deal with threats to their aircraft. That includes rerouting their planes to miss certain areas that pose a risk to them. As we know for a while, a threat has been Syria, and we've seen airlines not fly over there for some time just because of this. United Airlines has already suspended its flights to India through the Iran airspace, and they aren't the first and will not be the last. Lufthansa did note that they were also extending their no-fly zone over parts of Iran. However, as of last week, Weeks, a spokesperson noted that they were still going to be flying to Iran's capital, Tehran. A number of other key players in the aviation industry, like that of British Airways, have also said that they'll be listening to what the FAA say over the coming days or even weeks to determine what course of action is actually best to ensure the safety of their planes, crew and passengers. We know currently that they'll be using different routes to avoid parts of the airspace. KLM and Malaysian Airlines are also other notable airlines following the warnings. It's almost been a domino effect that has seen one carrier change plans and another follow. I've only mentioned a handful of airlines and there are certainly more that have followed the warnings and are not flying over Iran. However, what cannot be forgotten is the ultimate risk that the airspace poses to commercial aircraft. Of course, there's a lot more to the escalating tensions, but that has nothing to do with aviation, and this channel's focus is, of course, aviation. If you do want to learn more, I encourage you to simply key in Iran to any search engine and have a wander, as there are some brilliant articles detailing the full situation outside of aviation. With that being said, thank you very much for watching another one of my videos, and I do very much look forward to you all joining me in the next one. Oh, well,